we just saw how creating flexi layout alternatives was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, this layout alternative can recognize data from another Taiwan Corp. This one can read data from Solar Technologies. What if we wanted to create just one layout to read data from both? So this isn't strictly about layout alternatives, but it's about uh, an approach that you can take to create a more complex layout that can capture data from differing locations. Um, so that's the promise of Flexi Layout Studio, one to many. Um, and we can proceed using a first found group. So I will go ahead and start making some changes here. I'm going to uh, disable my blocks for now. I'll come back to those later. And I'm going to disable my solar technologies uh, element uh, tree, my layout alternative. And for um, another Taiwan Corp, I'm going to build it out so it can read data from both. So I'm just going to rename this invoices. And my header has to be more flexible here. So we want to read not only another Taiwan Corp, but also Solar Technologies. So I can just copy that. And I can match. So we've got the header which matches now another Taiwan Corp. Let's try it here. And it matches here. Solar Technologies, Ship 2 matches. We're getting our Ship 2 paragraph just fine. And we're having a problem still with invoice number. And we're not collecting the right data, but we are here. So let's address that next. So if we look at our keyword invoice number static text element, we can see that we're looking for the string invoice NO, but we're not looking for the string invoice number. So we can copy that and add that. And now we'll look for either one of those strings. Let's test it on our Solar Technologies document. And we're finding our data correctly. Next, let's create a first found group. And this is a very powerful element. Anything in the first found group can be searched for, but as soon as something's matched, the searching stops. So I'll go ahead and add that group. I'll keep it called first found. And then I will drag this invoice number element in there. And this is going to look for data really below invoice number. So I'm going to rename that invoice number below. Then I'll clone that and rename this one invoice number right. And I'm going to look to the right of this uh, character string to find the data here on this Solar Technologies document. So I'll say relations right of right with an offset of, say, 10. Left of right with an offset of, say, 300. And that will have to be a negative offset once again. Then we can say below top minus 10. And above bottom minus 10. Let's try that out. And our first found group actually finds the invoice number to the right. It didn't find it below, but a first found group stops looking once it matches something. Let's test this on the first document, which um, will be easy to do. 
we found our keyword, and then our first found group looked for data on the right, found some invalid data, so it stopped searching. So let's deal with that. To make sure that we're getting the right data here, we can say that we should look for numeric data. So I can say add an alphabet, 0 through 9. And then let me match this document again. So we found our keyword here, invoice number, and we look to the right for data that no longer matches, but the criteria below matches, all numeric data. So I can then do a little cleanup here, set that to invoices, and now we've got a more complex layout using the first found group that's able to dynamically find data below a keyword, or if it if needed, it can find data to the right of the keyword. And that's a very, very powerful capability of Flexi Layout Studio. So to do some final cleanup, we no longer need this. We can delete the Solar Technologies group. And let's double check our mapping so we can enable and enable, whoops, there we go. And let's make sure everything is mapped okay. So invoice number below, four invoices. Okay, give me one second. So the problem here is interesting. When you are using a first found group, you can't reference anything within your first found group because we don't know which item in a first found group will be matched. So we can simply back up and say first found is what we should map to. And we are good to go. Let's test that one more time. Found our data just fine. Let's try solar technologies. Found our invoice number just fine. 